Hey you guys, welcome back to Black Tea. So Cardi B and Tasha K are back in court for the fourth day of their trial. And let's just say Cardi B took the stand and had the entire courtroom very emotional. It actually forced the judge to remove one of the jurors after seeing an exhibit because the juror did react to what they saw, which is not acceptable, especially in trial. Now Cardi B said a lot of things when she was on the stand. She said that she felt like she did not want to live anymore because of what Tasha K was saying. She also said that she felt defeated and depressed and she did not want to be with Offset. She said this was actually shortly after she had her daughter and she said she felt like she did not deserve her kid. She also said that she felt like only a demon could do this to her. Now after she said the S word, she did apologize to the judge and this is where she broke down in tears and everyone said that the entire courtroom was speechless because this was evident that Cardi B was extremely hurt over the situation. I also have audio from a Dennis Byron who was in the courtroom and he actually explained this entire situation from start to finish. Check this out. Okay guys, I'm gonna give you guys a, a brief update. A brief update. I can't give you too much right now because the star witness is on the stand. And the star witness is Cardi B. There's been about 20 minutes of testimony. And I would just say that the tears were flowing in the courtroom. It was flowing in the courtroom. As a matter of fact, I may have shed a few tears myself. But let's be professional here. Cardi's on the stand right now. Well, she, she just, we just broke for lunch. But Cardi was on the stand testifying as to how Tasha K made her feel. She said, and I quote, she never even cared to care. She lied and said her father, a teenager, when asked by her attorney, Lisa Moore, do you have, no, do you have, no, are you a, no. Have you ever engaged in any debasing acts? No. When asked, how did these lies make her feel? I felt helpless, fatigued, tired, anxiety. I felt... Cardi broke down on the stand. She was crying on the stand. I felt like I didn't deserve my kid. And this was during the time that culture, this was probably a couple of months after culture was born and she was dealing with this whole debacle of defamation. And she essentially said that she didn't know, she never, she didn't know Tasha K and she only knew Tasha K because of a, uh, a post that Tasha K made where she was promoting the star Marie Jones video and she kept tagging Cardi B and hashtagging her to get her attention. And then when Cardi B didn't want to, she asked her, Tasha K asked Cardi B to get on her platform to debunk this. And she said, no, she wasn't getting on her platform to debunk it. One, her management wouldn't let her do it. And two, it would have just made the story bigger. So from that point on, she continued to try to uh, bait her to get onto her platform. And then when she didn't do it, she continually taunted her, harassed her, and spread it a voluminous amount of lies. When the lawyer, Lisa Moore, asked, did you know Star Marie Jones? Cardi said she met Star Marie Jones while working in a shop in New York, but she only encountered her twice while working in the street in New York City. And she said that there was two instances where she interacted with Star Marie Jones. In one instance, she she told the jury that when when Cardi was on the stage dancing, Star Marie Jones would be picking up her money while she was dancing. And in another instance, there were other strippers who saw Star Marie Jones picking up money that didn't belong to her, and they were going to fight Star Marie Jones. And Cardi B said she interceded so they wouldn't beat her up. She, when asked, had Star Marie Jones ever been at her residence? She said no. She's she's never seen her outside the club, and she was only a co-worker and knew nothing about her life. 
So these are the things that are happening in the court right now. And the attorney, Lisa Moore, who's with the Moore Law Firm, is doing a pretty good job. There were two objections made by uh, Tasha Kay's uh, attorney, uh, Olga, that were sustained. Uh, they, you know, they were kind of were leading questions, but she was able to uh, recover and just rephrase the question. So I didn't know T Cardi B was going to take the stand today. I didn't know she was going to take the stand. I didn't think that it was necessary, but apparently they wanted to make it a point with the jury that how it affected her. And clearly, based on this woman, Cardi B saying she wanted to commit, I didn't even know that was to, to the magnitude of what she was dealing with. So as you see, this was just an emotional day for everyone in court. I also want to talk about Tasha K's husband taking the stand. I see a lot of people saying that he threw her under the bus, and I don't think that that is actually true. I think that he told the truth under oath because that's what he's required to do. He did say some things that I feel aren't helpful for Tasha K, i.e. saying that she could have taken the videos down and also saying he had no control. But I also think that this shows that he was honest and he was willing to be honest under oath even if that meant it hurt his case. I also want to chime in on the situation with Cardi B. Now look, I am not here to defend anyone or to paint a narrative, but this actually did make me see Cardi B as a human rather than how I've been seeing her as a celebrity. To see someone break down and say that they felt like they did not deserve their child, I never want a mother to feel that way and right is right and wrong is wrong and if she did feel that way as she's saying in court I think that that is really unfortunate and I do feel sympathy for her I know how it's hard for some people to feel for her because of the things that she's done in the past but when it comes to motherhood and when it comes to being human for anybody to feel like they don't have any option but to risk it all and to leave the earth that is extremely heartbreaking and I feel bad for her I do and I know that's hard to believe but I do feel bad for her and I do think that this does teach bloggers a little bit more I was new to blogging this year so a lot of the things that I do for my blog I saw other content creators do but I'm starting to realize that there is still money and there is still value in reporting the news while keeping in mind the human aspect how would they feel or how would I feel if someone was reporting this way on me and I know this is a crazy case but I wanted to report on it because I felt like there was a lesson in what is going on and also because I thought this was important to tell other people who listen to my blog to always remember the human aspect and that is something that I'm learning as I go. Now we still have Tasha K's lawyers who are going to cross-examine Cardi B so as soon as we get that news I will be giving that to you guys so you know what's going on. Until then don't forget to subscribe to the channel give this video a big thumbs up and we'll talk very soon. Bye guys.